What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Speed Course Six coming to you with another video. Don't mind the lights on there. I know I need gas and I need more air in my tire. <laughs> but we got a good one in today. We are actually going to be picking up the new wheels for the IPL, so I'm super excited about that. Um, then also we're gonna be doing two we're gonna be getting the car ready to be dropped off because we are to be getting it wrapped and I need that car to be done before Z day which is next Sunday so got a lot to go a lot to do uh, but we're gonna get it done man I'm super excited but decided to take you guys along the drive um and yeah just to see what we get into to pick up the camera and film something so let's get it seven Spot. We're picking up the new wheels. Got the key 60 today. So, is that a Tome? I want a Tome for the G body. Hey, all these cars clean. All right. Yes, sir. We just picked them up. Bro, this is so fire. This is like my dream wheel in my favorite color. Bruh. Now we got MacBlue and freaking T37s. And MacBlue? This one? Yeah, that's crazy, bro. So far. These are like the one of the best specs you could find with these wheels. Like this is what you want to find. These are 19 by 10 and a half plus 22 offset. And then the fronts are 19.9 and a half plus 22 offset. So literally one of the rarest specs you can find with these TEs. It's super hard to find this. So and then Mac Blue. So it's gonna look really good with the new color. I'm not gonna tell you guys the new color yet, but you guys could see the new wheels. So, yeah. Jeez. My oh boy's passing out. <laughs> All right, we got the TEs right here. Yeah, we're good. Cool. These are gonna look so good on the G. And they're the perfect specs. So like I said, these are 19 by 10 and a half plus 23 offset in the rear. Or I think plus 22, sorry. Plus 22 offset in the rear. And then 19 point 19 and 19 by nine and a half plus 22 in the front. So, oh man, this is a lot wider too. It's basically the same specs as the Nismos, the Mag Blue Nismos. So, oh, bro, I love Mag Blue. That's my favorite color. That's why I have them on the Nismos. Now I have them on my tees. I've had tees before, but they weren't the right specs. So they didn't look as good as I wanted, so I sold them. These are the perfect specs and it's the perfect color. If I wanted to, I could just leave the color on the wrap, or the leave the car discolored without wrapping it, but I'm gonna wrap it. <laughs> so, clean. The next day. All right, guys, so today is the day. Got my TEs. Oh, man, I'm so happy. The T's looking so good. Look at that, bro. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love it, I love it. But today is the day, man. We are finally getting the car wrapped. We are dropping it off to go get wrapped. Um, so yeah, and then we're gonna go ahead and mount the tires on it this week too while the car's getting wrapped. I got two of my tires right there and then I'm gonna pick up another set of R888s, like the ones that are on the Q60. We have 265, 35, 19. So the same specs we're gonna do for the rear. But yeah, we're gonna go drop the car off to do the wrap. Let's get it. Uh, all right, guys, don't mind me. I know I need gas, but I have more gas than that. It's because I have the surge tank in the back and that holds a lot, a gallon of gas in there. So my gauge is always off, but man, you guys don't understand how much joy driving this car brings me. Like, uh, it's just something about it, man. Like, uh, don't get me wrong though. I love my Q60, I love the GTR, all that. But dude, something about driving and doing that. Shifting gears, hearing the turbo. 
Oh my goodness, it's just something about it, man. Like, I love this. Like, I would not give this up for the world, you know? Oh man. But yeah, so we're actually heading uh, to, we got a few things we're actually gonna be doing. I might drop this in another video, but I gotta replace the brake booster. I have it down there. I went to the junkyard and got one. Cause my brake booster is actually going out um, because my brake pedal, whenever you step on it, sometimes you gotta pump it a few times in order to get it hard. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And um, the reason why it's doing that is because uh, it doesn't have enough vacuum. So the brake booster is going out. All right guys, for some reason the clip actually got muted. Uh, so I wanna go ahead and explain to you guys what I'm saying right here. Basically I was telling you guys that we're gonna be taking the car to the dealership so I can start sanding the front and rear bumper because when I peeled off the old wrap, it actually took off some paint. So I don't want that to show through the new wrap. So we're gonna go ahead and sand down the bumpers to make them nice and smooth and prepare them for the wrap. Let's get this Mi 85 real quick, but bro, do you look good, honestly? Let's go on the stock red sport wolves, but the new set is going to look so crazy. All right, cool. So we put 20 bucks in, we got a half a tank. So good now. I love how the turbo sounds. It sounds so good. But bro, I'm scared to push right now because I'm on the stock red sport wheels and the tires on there, they're not like the best tires. Um, like they're not grippy at all. And I do not want to step on it on the with these tires and spin because yeah, we're not doing that. So I'm just gonna wait till we get the Archer Blades on the, R the T's, and then uh, we'll start doing more pulls. But for right now, just cruising. Especially after doing the head gasket, just wanna make sure everything is good to go. Um, I haven't had any overheating problems after we replaced it, so we're good. And then what we also decided we're gonna do, since I'm just gonna keep running this turbo kit, I'm gonna turn down the boost. Um, by turning down the boost, we're just gonna run a little bit more aggressive timing. But that should keep exhaust manifold pressure down so we can stop cracking the head gasket to just continue running this kit because i should be able to make 700 on this kit it's just we got to switch up our approach so i'm not going to be running like 20 pounds of boost anymore on this turbo i'm just going to turn it down to like 17 and then just do a little bit more aggressive timing with a little bit more fuel and stuff like that so yeah that way we keep the exhaust uh, pressure down in the exhaust manifold 12 seconds later So we just got done sanding everything and prepping it for a wrap and look at this it's crazy my car looks so clapped out but we sanded everything everything is good um and i know you guys are gonna ask what i use i use 220 with the interface pad on my sander um and then from there i bumped it up to a 320 to get super smooth and when you do it you want to make sure you leave like a quarter inch so that you don't feel it if you feel like a, a bridge that's going to show through the, the wrap so when you do it just make sure you sand it so you don't feel like an edge basically so but that's what i did right there and also on the front bumper the front bumper needed a lot more work um a way more work and i'm actually going to spray a little bit of primer right there because i don't think that's going to stick but front needed way more work so but i've been me i knew i needed to repaint this bumper i just obviously got the car wrapped before but if i ever take the wrap off again we for sure are going to repaint everything so but yeah, let's go ahead and drop it off. Got the color in there. Got my boy Chris about to pick me up. Yes, sir. He just got his new wheels. All right. Got the ESRs on there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, we're going to get it right yeah. now. Guys, the last time seeing it with the gray, I drop it off right now. Have my boy Spot. 
about to hook it up, man. Should be good. No more looking ashy, dude. This car looks so ashy now, like it's clapped. <laughs> but this is definitely gonna help. Oh gosh. The new color with these headlights and the carbon hood. And then the new wheels, the T's, the Volks. Yeah, it's gonna look fire. It's gonna look fire, man. So, all right. Last look, man. Last look. <laughs> so we are now officially back home. Oh, I got the T's, bro. Can't wait to throw these on, get these mounted. Oh my goodness, I can't wait, can't freaking wait. All right guys, that's gonna do it for the video, man. If you guys like it, please leave a thumbs up. It definitely helps out the channel, you guys. And uh, yeah, can't wait to pick it up. I'll probably pick this video up next week when we pick up the G. And we still got a little bit more things I gotta do on the car uh, before Z Day, so, but yeah. But for right now, everything is good. I might even bring the Q6 and I'll have my girl drive this one, we'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, appreciate you guys always tuning into the video, man. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.